I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. You're not going to outwork me. It's, it's, a, it's a very, it's such a simple, basic concept. The guy who is willing to hustle the most is going to be the guy that just gets that loose ball. In order to be successful at this game, it needs to be 24 7. Number one is the hard work pays off, and number two is that dreams come true. If other people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if uh, you're doing the same thing. You, you, you will achieve in a month what it takes them a year to achieve. Well, step one is obsess, get totally focused, unleash your desire, that gives the energy. Step two is not waiting. It's massive action. Keep changing your approach until you find effective execution. Because success at big bowls in life Don't just fall from the sky. You gotta take steps, you gotta plan. You gotta be progressive about what you're doing. It's hard. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. Nothing is impossible, you just have to kind of keep running through the walls. It's always going to take work. If you want to be successful, you want to own things, you want to control, be in control of your life, you want to own your life, it's always going to take work. And it's going to take planning and thinking things through. You can't get around that. You can't get around that. Be responsible. Be successful. Be productive. Realize that having a life that is great cannot be done without hard work. You know, how long would you give your average kid to learn how to walk? Before you turned to the kid and said, dude, it's never going to happen, you're not a walker, just give it up. Like, you go, you're crazy, my kid's going to keep trying until. Keep changing your approach until you find it. I think it just comes down to like, you just got to want it, want it really bad. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. I say all the time, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get, get ready. ready. You have to have an emotional investment in what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, um, failure is pretty much guaranteed. Success is not guaranteed by any means, but failure is m much more likely if you don't love what you're doing. Building really great companies just takes a while, and it's good to not try to do it too fast. It's really, really, really good to be ambitious, obviously. Um, but it's not that great to be too hasty. That as you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it, step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. If you're running east looking for a sunset, I don't care how positive you are, you're not going to see the sunset. It's the wrong strategy, right? It's just not going to happen. Life is going to whoop you until you surrender.
I couldn't understand it then, but after I got through it, then I saw that that was preparing me for bigger and better things. Do what you love, at least a little bit. And if you have to do something else in order to support what you love, do it. Hell, work at McDonald's. And if you really love something, you'll do whatever it takes to support that thing. And don't ever let fear or the little demon that says you ought to do this and you shouldn't do that ever keep you from pursuing what you love. If you know why you're doing something and what it is that you're trying to get, then it's a question of being very, very open to failure, trying again and again and again until you get it. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities, unquestionably. We didn't give up at that point. You know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. Work your ass off. Nobody ever stumbled upon success by accident. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. I always believed no stone unturned. Work your butt off. That's what I always believe. No matter what you do, work, work, work. No pain, no gain. When people say, I don't have time to work out. Or I have worked so hard all day, I'm tired. I cannot work out anymore. Or I cannot read another book. Or I cannot improve myself. Oh, I don't have time, or oh, I work so hard that I cannot really improve my business, or oh, I cannot grow as a person, or oh, any of those things. I mean, the day is 24 hours, you sleep 6 hours, so you have 18 hours left. If it's hard, then do it hard. Listen, when I came to the United States, I remember that I trained 5 hours a day every day and I was managing a construction business and I was a bricklayer and I went to college also and I took acting classes from 8 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock midnight all of that in one day every day I did that I did not worry about it I knew that I had 24 hours and I didn't want to waste one single hour that early to bed early to rise work like hell just remember, you can't climb that ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh, no, 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 no. you got to keep on watering your tree. And when it began to happen, when you're working at your dream, somebody said the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. You must work your ass off. It's that simple. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. When they go through a process of growing it, they have to water and fertilize the ground where it is every day. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year through the ground within five weeks it grows 90 feet tall because at any time had that person stopped watering and nurturing and fertilizing that dream that bamboo tree would have died in the ground